Hello everyone. Today I am here with you again to discuss class 3 history, West Bengal Board of Higher Secondary Education. So today I am going to discuss with you a topic Farazi movement which was held in the year of 1820. So first and foremost, we will discuss about this word Farazi. Okay, this word Farazi is not an Indian word, it is an Arabic word. This word means a commandment or compulsory duty. One must do the duty. Okay, now this Fariyaji movement was started in Faridapur, Bangladesh. At present, it is in Bangladesh. So now, who was the leader? Who was the leader of this Faraji movement? The leader for this Faraji movement was Haji Sariyatullah and Dudumiyadi. Okay, so they were the leader who led the Faraji movement of 1820. It was the movement, uh, this uh, movement was uh, popularly uh, for the patients, right? Most of the movement was movement was for the Muslim community. So, the movement was movement So that now the movement was assumed the character of the patient report it means this report was also for the patient okay so manche are say our muslims are like under the domination of british government the gardas of the say you chalki gare jo faraji movement che unale agadi badak the ra dudumiya haina unko leader just le say afno Pitasmi Kosera, and a Haji Saria to Tulaja of Hosio, the Usle, take up for it. Rally was his day, then afterwards, this Dudumia started this revolt in a Bengal. So now, let us see what are the causes for this Parajia movement, okay? So, first and foremost, let us discuss about the Muslim, one by one, the Muslim. Tenants were operated by the East India Company. Now, as in the history so far, you have understood maybe that East India Company came for the purpose of the business in 1608. Later on, afterwards, when they started to do their business, they were more aggressive towards Indian trade system and they started to feel that more jealousy about the India. So later on, they captured India slowly slowly after the uh, Battle of Plassey and, and Battle of Paniput you have known that in 1756 Battle of Paniput and later Battle of Boxer 1764 the British government totally captured the uh, they started to slowly capture the India later on they wanted to capture more more to more India so now because of that now the as I have discussed with you already, the Chor Rebellion of uh, Rebellion of 1764 to 1782. Later on, this uh, 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 many other revolts, right? These revolts, all the revolts took place because the British government wanted to dominate the patients. So, in this moment also, Farajia movement also, Faraj movement also, Muslims. Patients were dominated by the British government, East India Company, so that they, this Muslims, this Far, uh, Faraji, they did not want it. They did not want to be under the East India Company, so that this Faraji movement was became a vibrant, vibrant with the patients' voice. Now let us discuss about the second topic. The the Hindu domination was to be eradicated. So Hindu domination was uh, must be must not dominate the Muslims. This means the eradicate means to remove or to destroy all the rule and regulations which was made. So now the Hindus, whatever they were doing towards the Muslims, 
they were dominating this domination was to be eradicated or to be removed by the hindus this was the question this was the demand from the muslims okay muslims so now as per the law as per the for your informations is the information okay dudumia dudumia what uh, told himself that the allah allah is the owner of the land allah is the owner of everything so that whatever the zamindari systems landlord system should be removed from their land because this land is from the god so this was the one of the uh, idea which was uh, insisted by the dudumia so now let us see the outcome of the paraji movement so we saw the causes right what lead to this paraji movement now let us discuss about the outcome ke bhayo paraji movement ko baad ma chai ke bhayo ta bhanne we will discuss it about it okay so now let us see the paraji movement was unsuccessful as the leader had little political vision now as i said to you already when i discuss first this paraji movement was compulsory duty or it was came from this arabic word and it was for the actually for the uh, peasants or the patients because it was the leader they had a very very little knowledge about in the political field because it was actually first a religious movement later on it transformed into the political movement haji sariyatullah was the first leader who was leading he was also he also had a little knowledge about the political vision because he was leading towards the religious view with that but later on his son dudumia when he became the leader he followed up this farajia movement he also had little knowledge about not much more knowledge about the political uh, i a political idea he did not have so later on uh, this was the cause which lead uh, this moment to unsuccessful so now let us see the another patients or peasants raised their voice against oppressive zamindars indigo planters and money lenders now whatever may be the consequences of this faraj movement of 1820 okay but all these muslims all these muslim peasants or the peasants they started to raise their voice against the east india company as well as the zamindars hindu zamindars indigo planters and the money lenders that was the courage they now grew up in their mind and in their heart so that this uh, muslims this faraji all they raise their voice so now let me conclude my this faraji movement of 1821 with saying this this movement uh, this movement also made that india to feel that we are one we can raise our voice against our is we can raise our voice against is india company who is who is dominating the nation this was the idea they gave to each indians this also gave a feeling of nationalism so this much for today we will discuss is discuss discuss it so thank you so much class